Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Anna and this channel is mostly about self-help, guidance, manifestation and experiences and I'd really like to help and share mine with you and maybe get some input from you as well. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and you can also follow me on my Instagram. I mostly post food pictures but also a lot about my experiences quotes, affirmations as well. So today's topic is backpacking alone as a woman on Hawaii, um, particularly Oahu. So this video idea comes from me having traveled to Oahu two years ago when I was 18 years old <clears throat> and I've traveled on my own from Austria to Honolulu and then I've spent a whole month there on my own with a tent, a backpack and a lot of optimism <laughs> which was a good thing because otherwise I don't think I would have enjoyed it very much but yeah I'm here now with my little notes and a bunch of tips for you on what you can do, how to improve your backpacking experience and how you can still save a lot of money when traveling on your own as a backpacker in an expensive place like Oahu. So the first step is to spend your first night at a hostel. Now this sounds controversial because I just said that I was backpacking and you know saving money and still I had such a long and exhausting trip going to Oahu from Austria. It took me three days like a bunch of long flights and changing and turbulence and I have never traveled so far before in my entire life so unless you are super experienced with backpacking and sleeping on beaches then go ahead but for me it was essential to have the first night in a hostel and there is also an additional benefit to this because unless you are very comfortable sleeping on your own, doing everything on your own and you want this to be really just about you and your own experience, then, well, you can skip this step. But I really enjoyed the hostel stay because the second tip, you will find like-minded travelers there. Be open, be friendly. I'm sure you all are if you are hoping to travel and experience a new place, then finding people that think like you and that really also want to, well, do it differently, not stay in, ho in hotels or hostels. So I was lucky enough that on this one night I was staying at this hostel in Waikiki that a very nice couple from Texas came up to me and asked me if I wanted to join them and I cannot tell you how relieved I was when they asked me this because I have been worrying, like, my mom was stressed out, I remember her constantly being like, find other people, you gotta find some people, and so when I did, I was, I was relieved, because I did not expect Honolulu to be this big, and I could not imagine myself sleeping there at all, alone, so the first three nights, I could travel with them, I could, we would go to the North Shore, we would look and stuff together and they've already been there a little bit longer and had well researched more because I just I just went there you know with 300 euros so basically no money and no plan I really didn't know anything my stone dropped <laughs> um, off Hawaii so it was very great traveling with them but then they left after three days and that left me worrying but I will remain positive and I was determined to just manage to be on my own because I'm not very, well I don't randomly walk up to people like, and I think that's a good thing because you never really know who they are and kind of comes off weird in my opinion unless it's the right situation to just go up to people and be like, hey I'm Anna, can I travel with you? <laughs> so that's not what I did. I went to Honolulu and I went into a Starbucks and I just started doing some work on my computer because I had very little money but I got the opportunity to work in an online company for the time being on Hawaii 
So I was there working and then this young man walks up to me with his like dreadlocks and he looked very hippie <laughs> but he had this huge backpack and a friend coming and he just randomly sat next to me and was like hey what are you doing like and we just started talking and he seemed nice enough like he actually seemed like a decent person that had good values and morals and not yeah I, I just like talking with him and he also wasn't from Hawaii but he also just wanted to get away from his day job in Chicago so yeah it was a great opportunity this leads me to my third point which is trust your gut and your instincts this is pretty self-explanatory I think everyone has a very good compass within themselves if they allow to trust it and this was essential for me to make good decisions for my health my well-being and my safety because there were some shady things happening and I was lucky enough to always have a sense of okay I gotta stay away or I gotta keep a close eye on my things now because one time there were two women and they wanted to pickpocket me but I I saw them and I immediately stood up and told them hey this is my stuff stop doing that like they already took my wallet so you gotta be aware and really have a good sense of being centered and this is now interconnected to the fourth step the fourth point which is in my opinion very helpful which is to be in the moment and enjoy the moment being in the moment when you're traveling alone is not only just a spiritual practice to center you but it also increases your ability to keep your surroundings in check because if I was super worried and stressed I was so busy with my internal self and everything that was going on within me that I could not observe everything around me whatever someone was doing and if you're traveling alone you have to make sure your stuff is staying where it has to be <laughs> not someone taking it and um, just knowing who's approaching you or who's around you um, especially if you're a woman maybe that's maybe more for solo traveling women um, so yeah and also if something is really nice and enjoyable like sometimes I had enough food I was on the beach it was sunny my stuff was safe I was in great company it's really important to then enjoy that moment and see it as the great moment it is because if you are so in the loop of where am I gonna sleep what am I gonna eat like do I have enough money am I gonna stay healthy like there are so many thoughts that come up in your head that it's just crucial to then at one time just be like okay everything aside and it's just me right here on this crazy island and for me this weren't like minutes or hours of feeling this way it's usually just been short seconds where I was insanely blissful and just so happy to have made it and have taken on this crazy journey despite whatever anyone else was saying because nobody was really supporting me with this idea it's just been my vision and my dream to travel to Hawaii Okay, so my camera died, but the key takeaway is that you also really want to enjoy the moment and see it as the incredible life experience that it is because it is very special to be on Oahu unless you can go there all the time and it is your home, I guess, but I find that the islands are insanely special with all the inhabitants on it as well. I feel like they're all very connected to nature and that is something that most people living well elsewhere don't really get so much so I've really enjoyed that experience and yeah so now I'm very eager to converse with you guys you can tell me what your experiences are if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below or write me on my Instagram at Ananas Creations and yeah I hope to see you guys soon again and bye! <laughs>